Hi everyone, it's Tatiana from Tatiana's Everyday Food and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys my family's recipe for zucchini bread. And I love this recipe because it's so simple to put together and it's a great way to utilize your summer zucchini. So this recipe is not like any other. We're gonna be adding tons of chunked pineapple, we're gonna be adding some dried apricots, and I like to add a mixture of uh, pistachios and almonds, so you have so many great textures and flavors in this bread, it's absolutely amazing. So you can either make this bread into two uh, nine inch loaves, or you can make some little zucchini bread muffins, which are perfect if you wanna take a few to work, toss them into your lunchbox, and you have a great snack. This batter is super easy to put together, so let's mix our eggs and sugar first. We're gonna mix together three large eggs, with three fourths cup of white granulated sugar. Just use a whisk and give that a good stir. To that, I'm gonna add one cup of melted butter, and we're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Give that another good whisk. And now for my zucchini. So I have two cups of grated zucchini, and I use two green zucchinis like this. I didn't peel them. So once you grate them, you want them to stand in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes, and then use a cheesecloth and squeeze out all the liquid. So you don't want any extra liquid in your recipe. Just add the zucchini right in, use a spatula, and just fold everything together. And now for our dry ingredients. So I have three cups of all-purpose flour. To that, I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of salt, and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And for a bit of flavor, we're gonna add half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. It's gonna add such a great flavor, a little bit of spiciness to the bread. Just use a spoon and give that a good mix. I'm gonna add about half of it first. And then we can start adding our fillings as well. So I have one cup of diced dried apricots. I have one cup of diced pineapple. Now today I used fresh, you can use fresh or canned or even dried will work great in this recipe. And I also have a half a cup of chopped pistachios and the bottom here I have half a cup of almonds. So I'm gonna add about half of that mixture and use a spatula just to combine everything together. And I'm gonna add the rest of my flour in. I'm gonna put about half of my uh, bread batter into the loaf pan, and you want to fill it about two-thirds of the way. Take a spatula and just spread that to the sides here. Now I've lined this pan with some parchment paper just for ease of removing it out of the pan. And then to the top, I'm going to add the reserved uh, pistachios and almonds. So just sprinkle that over the top. Use a spoon and kind of press it all in there. That'll give the top of the bread such great texture. Perfect. So I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. The loaves will bake for about 50 to 60 minutes, and you can always check by inserting a toothpick and it should come out clean. I'm gonna use this muffin pan for the rest of my zucchini bread batter. And this is perfect for individual servings if you wanna take them to work. And these will bake a little bit faster, so these will be done in about 30 minutes. And always check them to make sure. My zucchini bread muffins and loaf are all done now, and you wanna let it cool just a little bit before you take a long serrated knife and slice it into nice serving size pieces. And I absolutely love how colorful it is. You get some of the apricot, the green from the zucchini and the pistachio. It looks so wonderful. And now it's time to give it a try. And that's it for our zucchini bread. I love how easy it is. You just really combine everything together, pop it in the oven, and you're set for some delicious, you know, breakfast or snack food for the next few days. So I'm gonna take a slice of this zucchini bread here. I'm gonna save those little muffins for my husband. He'll love to take those to work. And this looks so great. I love all the colors and all the textures in this bread. Mmm. This bread has so much great flavor. I love, love all the different uh, textures here. So you get that dried apricot, which adds this nice sweetness, and you get that tangy pineapple, which is such a great flavor combination. Like who would think to add it to zucchini bread, but it tastes so, so good. And then I love all the crunchy almonds and pistachios on top, and you get some of them in the bread. So it's like a double whammy of crunchy nuts. So 
I think you guys will definitely enjoy this recipe. It's perfect with a nice cup of tea or coffee in the morning, or if you want just a midday snack while you're at work, or you can even box them up and uh, give them out to your family and friends. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video recipe. Make sure to give it a try this summertime. And if you do, share with me on Instagram. I always love to see your creations and I'll see you guys next time.